Hey guys, welcome to the vlog today. My plan for today is I gotta drive all the way out to Medesnat, which is about two and a half hours east of Calgary. I have to deliver out some materials and stuff like that for a project that we're doing. But once I get out there, if I have a bit of time, I'll show you there's some nice little valleys and and then like scenery areas that I can uh that I can show you guys, but just entering into Chestermere right now, and it's actually Chestermere is a really nice place. It's right on a lake, and like a lot of the wakeboards and ski pros come actually here in summertime uh, and compete. It's really good uh, for that. There's actually some TV shows that do get uh, shot here too, so uh, I'll show you the lake a little bit. Uh, I'll show you a bit of the lake too uh, as we're passing by. Yeah, but it's a great little place to come here, fish, uh, anything like that. If you have a fishing boat, uh, speed, if you like wakeboarding, anything like that, it's a really good place to be in summertime. It's like the closest lake we have, unless, uh, it's the closest lake we have to do this type of stuff, unless you want to go into the mountains. And I much prefer to go into the mountains, to be honest with you, because it's way, way nicer in there. I'm making a pit stop here. I'm just going to fill up gas and, uh, yeah, just pick up a couple things here before I go on my two and a half hour journey. Anyways, we're on the road now. Did all my pit stop. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the medicine hat. Hey guys, so I just made it here in the medicine hat and oh, I was just gonna show you the valley, but the big semi just kind of blocked everything. Uh, but yeah, they do actually have the biggest TP in the world here. So maybe I can quickly show you guys that one too. There it is guys. We're definitely gonna have to check that out before we uh, we head out of here. Hey guys, so I just dropped off all the materials from the uh, the job site too and before I head home I want to stretch my legs, grab some food and uh, just kind of show you the tallest TP in the world. Check this out. This thing's massive. Oh my god, look, look at the cool art over here too. So obviously with every monument that there is, there's always a lot of history behind it. So I'm gonna, you guys can just, I'm gonna show you, so I'm just gonna show you some plaques here and you guys can pause the video and read it for yourself. It's a lot of material. So uh, I'll take some video of each and every one of you. Uh, just pause the video and you can read it for yourselves. But yeah, this thing is massive. Like, yeah, the camera doesn't even do it justice how big this thing actually is. It's, it's crazy. I've always wanted to come here during the day. I've seen it during the night, and it's like, uh, it is uh, really, really nice even during the night because they got tons and tons of light on this thing. Yeah, let's see if we can see it from the backside. One thing about Medicine Hat too, it's actually considered a desert place. I'm sorry that the wind is doing this crazy thing. I totally forgot to put on my mic. But uh, check this out, they actually have cactuses here in Canada. Look at that. That is actually a cactus. And that's actually the first time I've ever seen that here. I didn't know they actually had that here until I just walked around. But yeah, check this out. This is like the back side of it. 
Anyways, I'm so glad I came down here. I've been meaning to see this for quite a while. Yeah, here's another one. Pretty cool. If my mom wouldn't live so far away, I would actually take that one out and, and give it to her, but uh, I'm not even sure that I'm allowed to do that, but uh, she loves cactuses and she would actually appreciate that one. I think it must be like 25 degrees right now and just loving the weather. Anyways guys, I gotta get out of here now. I wanna see if I have a bit of time to check out that other location I was talking about. But anyways, bye bye for now. The next little location that I wanna show you is just a nice little valley, nice ravine. Uh, I grew up in the country all, uh, most of my life and I guess I appreciate stuff like that. The valley, the, the rivers. Sorry for all the bug, all the bugs and all that stuff. But yeah, just, just over here. Great looking view here. I was hoping to get a hold of my, my cousin. He lives uh, right on top of that uh, hill over there. Uh, but he's probably, uh, he's probably not at home right now. But yeah, I usually come down here actually, like when we come down here and visit them, I usually come down here and fish. The water is uh, pretty low right now, uh, but uh, the water usually comes up to right along here somewhere in spring and usually try to catch there's actually some sturges in here and uh there's all kinds of fish pickerel uh bass whatever uh so i usually get up like really early like four in the morning and come here and and fish and then i do some in the evening there's some fishermen right there off the rock well yeah it's it's a really nice little location just so peaceful like i <clears throat> if you really enjoy nature this is the stuff that you really like and that's why i really love it and that's why i can't uh can't wait to get into the mountains with you guys too and just kind of show off where i usually go camping i'm hoping to go camping here really soon just you just appreciate the the nice view of it in the mountains the, or the hills i guess the texture of it so i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i do yeah the lake's kind of low right now eh mm -hmm. oh yeah what are you guys uh looking for catching looking to catch very good, a nice little view here before we go. There's a nice little park so you can come here and barbecue. I love it. You used to walk this trail all the way down. You can follow the river and you see a lot of tubers uh, when the river is nice and low here. It's a perfect time of the year to do it when uh, just tubing down the river. It's a perfect temperature right now to do it. I love this part over there. So the guy that I was just talking to down there, he said that he's trying to catch some sturges, sturgeon, I think. And uh, he did see some pictures of, like, you have to go where it's a little bit deep. Right now it's too shallow to do it, so he's probably going to go after catfish. And uh, he said the biggest one that he's seen getting pulled out of this uh, river is, uh, is like 80 pounds, which is a big fish. They're obviously almost extinct, so you can't actually keep them. It's just more or less for sport. But yeah, that's why I kind of came over here. I just wanted to remind myself that uh, I want to try to do this more and more often. Anyways, the whole fishing part. Obviously, the whole reason I came down here is because of chance, I guess. Uh, but I do want to try to get out there, fish more, you know, do all that good stuff. Because this is really what I like doing. Uh, camping, fishing. I'm, I'm, I'm very much about that stuff. And uh, this year, I really haven't had a chance to go out there and do it. I want to pull over and kind of catch uh, the valley from the top before I leave. This looks pretty amazing. I know it's hard to capture on camera, but uh, the beauty of this is really cool. Anyways, I'm out of here. I gotta go fill up some gas, and then I'm on the way home. Hi, how are you? Yeah. What's that? I'm ready to school. So am I done? You mean daycare? I'm done daycare. So, so I'm. So I told you when I'm done daycare, I'll do this. No, we'll do that on the weekend. So guys, we just uh, put Eric to bed actually, and uh, 
uh, we're just actually shooting, me and Adrian are just shooting a video uh, that will go up uh, before this one. I will link it uh, we'll link it in the subscription. We're just making a how to dress yourself and how to get ready for Stampede. But anyways, yeah, this is kind of what we're dressing here. It's kind of behind the scenes of this whole video. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll link, uh, a subs I'll put the link in the subscription of the video. We just wrapped up the video, so yeah, go take a look at it. I'm gonna I'm gonna link in the description once again. Um, uh, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. The trip was really fun. I hope you guys liked the the, the medicine hat tour. <laughs> As I might say, I know I wasn't there long, and I know I could show you a lot more. But me in the future, I'll travel over there and visit with the cousins, and then we can do a lot more. We can do fishing. We can do whatever. Let's see what we can catch. Uh, but anyways, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. And hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I do have a Twitter account, so do follow me underneath there. Uh, thank you so much. See ya.